Now let's go to uh, number C3. It says that it tells us determine the gradient of the line of best fit and include the absolute uncertainty in your answer. So by saying that, uh, what it is telling us to do is uh, we have to find the gradient of the line of worst fit as well. Best fit and worst fit, both of them as well. So let's go into the mission. So that requires that uh, we have to uh, deal with this uh, graph page once again, graph page once again. So let us uh, select points for the best and worst fit line. So uh, I have uh, made a plan to select these points. So I will select this point here, this point and this point. So this is from the worst fit line. This is from the best fit line, these two points. And then I will select uh, these two points. Uh, I can do any, but uh, uh, let me go through, go through go to these two points. So this point and then this point. So these two points here. So uh, let me draw triangles. So I, w one uh, triangle will work for both set of uh, points, both set of points. So let me draw the triangle here. So the triangle will be from here, from here, from here it will be. So this will be the triangle, triangle, triangle. I have to draw it here, so let me see, let me peep into where I'm going, so from till here, from here to here, and then it will be, it will be here. So this is scale, handling of this scale is very difficult because of uh, the nature of surfaces there, so it will be this, yeah, so from here to here, from here to here. So I have both uh, vertical and uh, horizontal lines. So let me write the corners of these points. So the corner of this point will be, this point will be, for x axis it will be equal to, uh, this is 180 here. So it is 180 comma, and here it will be 330, this is 340, so it should be 332 and 34. So it is 334. And for this it will be, it will be, uh, this is 180, 180 is okay, 180, then uh, this will be 330, 330. Then here it will be, uh, this point will be, will be 100, 100, comma, that is 170, 190, so this should be 180. So it is 180, and this is, should be, should be, uh, this is 90, 100, so 92, 94, 96, so it is 96, comma this thing will be 180 so these are the points now let me copy the points to the uh, other page other page so so here uh, I have uh, the, let me copy the points like this so um, for for best fit line best fit line line uh, line we have x1 y1 is equal to something something so this will be so let me go for this so this is the best fit line is this one so it comes from here 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 so worst fit best fit so this should be the best fit line so it should be uh, 100 and 180 best fit line 180 and then uh, x2 y2 should be equal to so from here i have to come here i have to come here 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 like this so this is uh, the best fit line this is the best fit line and my point here is is 180 180 334 so it is 180 334 180 and 334 so for worst fit line worst fit line I have x1, y1 is equal to, let me come to the worst fit here. So this is a worst fit here, it is a worst fit here in this one. So it should be 96, 180, 96, 180, uh, 96, 180, and uh, x2, y2 should be equal to, so this is a worst fit line here, so this should be that point, this is 180, 330, 180, 330 so this is from here it is 180 
and uh, from the y side it will be equal to 330 180 and 330 now we are ready to calculate the uh, values so the the gradient of baseline is mb is equal to b is equal to so we have to go to these things so y2 minus y1 it is 334 minus 180 divided x2 minus x1 it is 180 minus 100 so when i do the uh, calculations it will give me it will give me uh, so 334 uh, minus 180 divided bracket 180 minus 1 it becomes it is 1.925 then then m worst the slope of gradient of worst line will be equal to so y2 minus y1 so it is 330 minus 180 divided x2 minus x1 so it is 180 minus 96 so that will be so uh, so 1330 uh, minus 180 your bracket 180 minus 96 equal to yeah it is 1.7857 now uh, we have to include the absolute uncertainty so delta m is equal to modulus of m best minus m worst that's equal to 1.925 minus 1.7857 and that's equal to that's equal to modulus here modulus so it's equal to 0 0.1393 now we need that the uncertainty or the error should be expressed in 2 sf maximum 1 or 2 sf so it should be equal to 1 2 here so when i round it off here so round it off here it should be equal to 0 0.14 0 0.14 now uh now what i uh, this so let me uh, express this quantity as well so this is plus or minus 0 0.14 it's okay so regarding this quantity let me write it here so it is 1.925 it is 0 0.14 so this is the first digit of the start of uncertainty so i have to write only up to this quantity and not this not this so just round it off here so it should be equal to 1.9 so the grain is equal to 1.9 plus minus 0 0.14 now if somebody is adamant on using only one sf so it should be equal to 0 0.1 only 0 0.1 only but uh, uh my personal preference is i always uh, prefer 2 sf is because so when i uh, use 2 sf it is 14 when i use 1 sf it is 0 0.1 only so it's 40 percent error 40 percent error on error itself so i personally don't like uh, 1SF only, so 2SF would be better in my, uh, in my supposition.